Hola mi gente, welcome back to my channel, it's your girl Aideen. So if you're interested in how I got this super cute gel -X set that I did on my mom, then keep on watching, okay? All right, you guys, so this is how my mom's nails look before. Her nails were super long, super strong ever since we switched over to Gel X. Um, also, I haven't done a nail video in so long, so here's a nail video, and then we'll get right back to the home content pretty soon. So first, I am using a nail scraper, and I'm going to push back her cuticles and get rid of any like dead skin and stuff that we have on the nail plate. I always preach to you guys about the importance of nail prepping. If you don't prep your natural nails the correct way, they will not last, okay? Okay, so we're going to continue to prep our nails. Here I'm taking a nip bit, and this is from Erica ETAs. All the bits that I use are from Erica's ETA. I will link it down below so I go the reverse way for all ten of her fingers and then I will switch the my nail bit my nail file to go forward so reverse and forward and this is basically going to remove any more of those um, dry nail particles that are still on the nail plate we start off with the nail pusher to push back the cuticle and kind of scrape up a little bit but going in with an e-file will really really help you in getting rid of the rest of the stuff. Okay, so here now I'm going the opposite way. I have switched my e-file and I'm going the opposite way to get those nail particles that are still stuck on the nail plate. You guys, I'm gonna say it again. Nail prep, when it comes to anything, nail extensions, uh, taking care of your regular nails, nail prep is so important. If you don't get rid of those you know dry particles and stuff that's on the nail plate it doesn't matter what you do to the nail whether it's a gel manicure a gel x extensions acrylics whatever they will not last so make sure the nail prep is on point and we continue the nail prep here i'm using a taper barrel bit and this is going to once again remove any of those particles that were not previously removed and as you can tell you still see stuff coming off so every uh, bit has its purpose All right, here I'm just cutting um, the cuticles or the, um, you know, any dry little pieces of skin. And I like to get super close to the actual, like, hand so I can see what I'm doing. So you, you're going to see my head weaving in and out of the frame because I like to be super close to make sure I get everything. And I go nice and slow because you don't want to cut your clients or create um, any, you know, any damage to the nail. So I take my time with this step. Next, we're going to dehydrate and uh, prime the nails. Make sure you use whatever brands, primer and dehydrator. All of those are made to work together. I'm using the Apray gel system, so I'm using everything Apray. Here, I'm taking the Apray Gel X Extend Gel and applying a slip layer, a nice thin layer of the gel on the natural nail bed, and then I'm going to cure it for about 10 seconds. Okay, so now I'm going to take the extend um, the gel tip and I'm going to apply some gel on it and I'm going to place it down in a 45 degree angle. And the little lamp that I'm using right here, this is from Amazon. I will also link it down below for you guys. This step is pretty repetitive. You take the extend gel tip, you put the gel on it, you curve it a little bit, pinch it a little bit to give it a, more of a C curve, and then you're going to 
place it down on the nail at a 45 degree angle and then you're going to use a light pressure to make sure the gel uh, comes down the nail and then you're going to cure it in place. Once you have all your extensions on, you're going to cure it for about 60 seconds. I like to be extra and do 60 seconds. And then um, after I do that, we're getting ready to uh, lightly file the shininess off the top of the nail and blend everything in. You don't have to use the e-file for this. You can use the gel uh, prep that they have or um, a little bit of acetone. We just want to remove that super shiny, soft like uh, layer on it because if you put anything on it, on that like smooth surface everything's gonna come right off so you want to make sure it has a, some texture to it this is the model one's 0871 color it's a super pretty like Christmassy green color and my mom loved it and I was like oh this is perfect we're like basically in the holiday season so why not so I'm going to apply two thin layers of this gel you guys make sure you're going with thin layers with any polish because you don't want the nails to get nice and bulky so start with a light layer and then cure it and then do another layer and then look at it ask your client if they want it a little bit darker and then you could do a third layer but make sure you do it nice and thin you guys and also and also i did a shiny uh glitter on the ring finger i forgot to show you guys but this is how the nails look she loved it i love this super cute is right in in times with the seasons so yeah you guys hope you enjoyed this video let me know what else you want to see from me